We all love our dogs, right? But let's be real. Sometimes their behavior is a little weird. You might think your dog is giving you kisses when they lick you, but it's time to burst that cute little bubble. When your dog licks you, it's not just affection. In fact, some of the reasons behind it are anything but cute, and one of them might even make you think twice about letting that tongue near you again. Stick around, because what you're about to learn will forever change how you see your dog's kisses. You see, licking is instinctual for dogs and goes way back to when they're born. From the moment they enter the world, puppies are greeted by their mother's licks, which serve multiple purposes. Grooming them to keep them clean, comforting them when they're scared or cold, and creating that special bond. It's their first experience of care and warmth almost like a parent's hug, but as dogs grow up, that innocent licking behavior changes. It's not always a sign of love or affection like we'd like to think. Sometimes it's about communication, submission, or even stress relief. So while licking might start off as a sweet gesture, it can take on different meanings as they age. And it's not always about giving kisses to show affection. So here are a few surprising reasons your dog licks you. First of all, they might be trying to get you to puke up your food. Yep, you heard that right. In the wild, wolf pups lick their mother's mouth to trigger regurgitation so they can eat. Your dog, seeing you as their parent, might still have this instinct buried deep down. So that sweet lick? It could be their way of saying, hey, got any leftovers in there? Suddenly, not so cute, right? And if that wasn't gross enough, there's another layer to it. Dogs are naturally drawn to strong smells and salty flavors. That means your sweat, food crumbs, or anything else that makes you, well, not so clean is super appealing to them. Ever notice how your dog is extra eager to lick you after a workout? That's because they love the salty taste of your skin. To them, you're like a walking salt lick, and they're just getting their fix. It's not personal. They just can't resist the flavor. But that's not all. Another reason is that licking helps dogs self-soothe. When your dog licks you, it releases endorphins, making them feel relaxed and happy. It's kind of like how we feel calmer when we pet them. It's a two-way treat. So, while it may seem cute, they're actually using you as their personal stress ball. Licking can also be a sign of submission. In the dog world, when one dog licks another's mouth, it's a way of saying, I'm not a threat. So when your dog licks you, they could be acknowledging you as their leader, making sure everything's peaceful and calm between you. But don't get too comfortable just yet. Sometimes, licking is their way of getting attention or asking for food, especially around mealtime. They figured out that licking gets them what they want and they're not afraid to use it. Let's talk about the risk factor now. Many people believe that a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's, but that's a big myth. Just like us, dogs carry billions of bacteria in their mouths. While most of it won't harm you, some of it can be harmful which can cause skin infections and other health issues in humans. Especially if a dog licks a cut or an open wound, it can introduce bacteria that may lead to infections. And in some cases, those infections can become serious if not treated promptly. But the real concern isn't just bacteria, it's parasites. When dogs groom themselves with their tongues, they can pick up all kinds of unpleasant stuff, including worms. And yes, those innocent licks can transfer these parasites to you. Some dogs may have underlying health issues that can make their saliva even more dangerous. For example, dogs suffering from periodontal disease may carry higher levels of harmful bacteria, increasing the risk of transferring those pathogens to humans. So, if you thought your dog licking your face was just a harmless show of affection, you might want to think again. It's not just quirky, it can actually be risky, but there's a twist. Not all licking is bad or has some secret agenda. Sometimes it really is about affection. Studies show that licking can release dopamine and endorphins in dogs, creating a bond and making them feel connected to you. They love us in a way that's genuinely heartwarming, but like everything else, it's a mixed bag of reasons. It's important to pay attention to the context. For example, if your dog licks you after you've given them a treat or scratched their head, 
it might just be their way of saying thank you. Different types of licks might also mean different things. A quick, gentle lick might be your dog's way of saying hello or asking for attention. But a long, slow lick could be a sign of affection or even submission. And, you know, the spot your dog chooses to lick might have meaning too. If your dog always goes for your hands, they might be trying to groom you. In the dog world, grooming is a sign of care and affection. So when your dog licks your hands, they're basically giving you a doggy spa treatment. Still, it's not always that simple. Dogs also use licking to cope with anxiety. Just like humans might bite their nails when stressed, dogs lick. Some dogs even use licking as a way to express frustration, turning it into a coping mechanism. Ever seen a dog lick another dog's face aggressively? That's not just a playful gesture. It's a sign of underlying tension. So what should you do if your dog's licking is becoming a bit much? For starters, don't encourage it. It may be tempting to laugh off your dog's licking or respond playfully, but doing so can reinforce the behavior. If you unintentionally reward them with attention, be it positive or negative, they may think it's acceptable or even a way to get your attention. Instead, take a calm and measured approach. When your dog starts licking, gently remove yourself from the situation or turn your back. This sends a clear message that licking is not the way to engage with you. You can also gently redirect their attention to something else, like a chew toy or a game. This not only diverts their focus, but also gives them an appropriate outlet for their energy. Sometimes, licking can be a sign of boredom or excess energy. Ensure that your dog has enough mental stimulation. Puzzle toys, treat dispensing toys, or interactive games can keep their minds occupied and help reduce the urge to lick. Keep an eye on your dog's licking habits and try to identify if there are specific triggers. If you notice that the licking seems compulsive or is accompanied by other signs of distress, such as pacing, whining, or destructive behavior, your dog may be experiencing anxiety or stress. In that case, it might require some deeper solutions. Now, as you know the reasons why your dog might be licking you, but remember, it's not just about changing how you see this behavior, it's about understanding your dog better. The next time that tongue comes out, you'll know exactly what's going on in their furry little mind. If want to know more shocking secrets about your dog, check out this video, 14 Essential Tips for First-Time Dog Owners. You'll learn the habits you need to adapt to keep your dog happy and healthy. And trust me, some of them will blow your mind. Click on the link and discover how to make your bond with your dog even stronger. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any video because your dog deserves the best version of you.